Greetings and welcome to City Skylines. In the previous episode, we built some extensions, expanded the town a little bit, but most importantly, we discovered that there was a bit of a traffic problem, as we can see here. So today, we're going to spend some time looking around the traffic, trying to figure out what's happening, fixing it. And if we have time, we're going to start work on the uh, the railway system, which will be our replacement to the metro, as we will not be using metro in this playthrough. All right. So the question is, can we find out what the hell's going wrong with our traffic, and can we fix it? So where are our traffic problems? Let's bring up the traffic monitor here. So for the whole city, we've got some red zones up here. This looks to be just busy rather than actual problem, but it is busy coming in. And it might be worth dropping down a three lane road there just to help out with that traffic coming into the roundabout here. There we go. I might as well go all the way down to the junction as I do prefer that as an option. There we go. And that should definitely help get vehicles into there a bit faster. Alright, that's the first one. Here we have a problem with vehicles coming out. Um, but not too bad. Here we have, again, vehicles coming out. Here we have a massive traffic jam of vehicles coming out. We have a traffic jam happening here. <clears throat> this one is most vehicles coming down this road and merging here. And then this junction, which is then clear. The problem is coming up here. Alright, so one thing we can do just to help out with this is we could go into our traffic manager here, uh, set our lane restrictions and not allow that one to go straight forward. That temporarily will just get some of the cars moving down this road and stop them being on uh, the wrong lane because they, they have no need to be on the wrong lane then. Alright, but we still need to figure out how to deal with these cars. Now, a, a solution, a potential solution, is to put traffic lights on there. Um, Let's see what you got. We have clear traffic, we have traffic, disabled, disabled, excellent. Alright, um, that's going to help clear these cars down. And it may may clear this problem, so we'll figure that out in a moment. But this road comes up here, and it gets to here, and these cars are having a bit of trouble here. Now, what we could do is try to help them out by, going, by putting a three lane here, but I don't think that's an issue. I think the problem here is these cars are trying to get back out into the city again. Now, with these traffic lights activated down here, we should probably put another traffic light here. And then we've got traffic lights in both sections then. Because it's it's not every stop, it's, it's every two stops, and that could potentially help out the, the problem here. Although I would like to shove these cars down another road over to here, maybe. But we do have these problems here. Now, is it beneficial to put traffic light on that zone there? This one actually might be easier, easier solved by putting a three-lane road in place. And by easier solved, I mean better. Uh, do you come up further than that? I don't want to go all the way down to this road, so I'm going to do it to there. That gives it enough uh, distance to separate the vehicles out. And we should hopefully start seeing them clear this road a bit easier. I'm not sure on you. Uh, it's going to be okay. No problems here anymore. Alright, let's go back to our traffic view. Uh, this road here is having some issues. I think we're going to have to just do a very simple, at least to start with anyway. Uh, every road going into the main road gets a two lane output. Just to help it get through that stage. Um, because we are seeing every road coming in here is having issues. Uh, do that as well. Oop, there we go. Right, so that's a two lane, that's a two lane, that's a two lane in. That should also be a two lane in, there we go. Uh, that should be a two lane in. That is a two lane in. That is now a two lane in, there we go. Uh, traffic lights here have definitely caused the, a lot of the congestion to go away. Uh, but I'm going to try and remove these now that we've got two lanes coming in here. Uh, it might help out the problem at this back end here. Uh, and do we have no trouble lights up here, please? We don't. We do have cars waiting in an odd amount of time, but I think that's actually not too bad. This could be a problem, though. See, I don't want to put traffic lights on, though, but we may have to do so. Well, this road here is cleared now. Well, this traffic light here is definitely needed, but I'm going to turn it off for a moment and just see if we can uh, help keep the traffic down. That's fine, that's fine. So a lot of these are actually cleared down just by the presence of these splitter lanes. Um, which seems to do really well. This side here, 
And this side here, if be careful of, because I've noticed that they haven't gone away traffic wise. Also, this building burnt down, and it is kind of annoying, so go away. Okay, so this is a busy road, unfortunately, and this is a very busy bus stop. Uh, and there's not really a way to tag the bus stop. It's a very busy bus stop, Malk. So, we need to get this bus stop figured out, whatever the problem is, but we'll deal with that in a moment, though. So, this road is definitely having some issues with traffic. These are cleared. This one's. This is definitely having any problems. This is. Uh, this one's not having fun here. And that one. Okay. Here seems to have cleared up. Uh, here hasn't, unfortunately. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put traffic lights back on, but on the ones that we know have problems. This one, which has problems here, which is one after the roundabout. Ignore that one. Ignore that one. Ignore that one. Put traffic lights on that one. Ignore that one. Because I think that one will clear with this one automatically. Um, but we'll find out in a moment. That one's fine. And this one. I'm going to put traffic lights on it. So we have three traffic lights in the route. And we'll see if those cause any uh, any congestion problems with the uh, traffic lights. Now I don't like using traffic lights. But we'll see if they work out for the better. And we might be able to remove some later on. Um. We might find out the place like this don't need them once they've, once they've been cleared down. So uh, we will put that on now. I'm going to take that one off the system. And this piece here could probably do with trouble like putting on. So I'm going to leave it like this. So we have this one released. So this one's got traffic lights on it. And this one down in here somewhere has traffic lights on it. I'm going to leave it at those for now. I'm going to keep an eye on these to see if they're going to cause us some problems. Because it might be we have to put them on multiples. And this actually just helps clear down the, tra the traffic backlog that's in the place anyway. There we go. Just help get some of these cars out of circulation. <clears throat> One of the problems we could also do is get rid of this road. Um, it is causing a lot of traffic here. It doesn't need to be here in reality. Um, if we got rid of this, then this would be all the traffic coming in and we wouldn't need traffic lights there. And there's a lot of vehicles wanting to turn back to this. So what we should do here is to help this system out. Uh, no straight forward on that lane. That's the turning lane only, and it should help clear this traffic a bit faster. Yeah, we're not having vehicles waiting to, for the for the turn that don't want to be waiting for the turn. So that's always been a bit of an issue for us, really, in reality. Uh, so that took a little while for them to pass, but it looks like a lot of vehicles wanting to turn here. Da, 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 keep an eye on those though. That one's still clear. This one's having some issues keeping clear. This one's still clear. This one is still clear. This one has traffic lights on it and is backing up quite badly up here. Let's remove those lights now and see if it stays clear on this side road. Da, da, da. That one is clear and that one is clear. Okay, so, so far all of these are clear now. Uh, our only real issue is this one here, which has now, has now has lights on it. And this one here, which I'm going to keep the lights on this one. I think this is going to be a problematic junction just in general, if we don't uh, keep the lights on this one. Doesn't help that the uh, the cars don't have some kind of like filtering in place to stop them from doing stupid stuff. I'd love to put like a three lane road in here so they have two forward ones, but uh, it's not going to be behaving itself. I am going to, however, uh, extend this uh, no go area back a bit further because I feel that they are being idiots and they're not getting in lane at the right time. So I'm going to make them get into lane way back here as soon as they come off of, the, off of this motorway. So when they come off this motorway. Uh, they can choose a lane to be in and then they will uh, be in that lane all the way down to this junction here so it will hopefully help out by getting the vehicles in the right lane and stop them crossing each other here. Let's speed up and find out if it helps. Okay, I am actually realising this might be more beneficial to remove this uh, turning ability here. Um, do, we, do they need to go here? I suppose the real question is where are they going? Well, they are heading up this road, and the more vehicles we can get off of this, the better. So, how about instead of that, we can pull off a, another road off the roundabout here, connect it to there, and get rid of that? 
that's a that's actually a possibility. So let's give me a road with the with the with the with the things. Yep. And we'll try and pull from here if we can. If it'll let me. It's not letting me. Why don't we be that tight? We should make it one way, just to help out as well. Uh, one way, one way, one way, one way. Freeze, perfect. Can you give me that? Yes. Boom. And then move it over to here. And drop that in there. Boom. And then we'll go here. You don't have a right turn. There's no right turn here. I mean, that could have really been a one lane in reality. And there'd have been no reason not to do that. It's a one lane. Um. 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 DJ, please. No, stop it with the fires. Where, where's my fire department? I need a fire helicopter. Fire helicopter. Fire helicopter department. Uh, let's pop these guys. They have noise production, so I'm gonna put them over here in the in the in the thing. Industry. That's the word for it. Uh, there. And drop one of these guys down here just to cover the, pretty much the whole city. If we can find a place to put it, they will blow up a house in the process. Ah! No. No. Uh, no. Yes. No. Yes. Boom. There we go. That should that should allow helicopters, which are now in the air. Perfect. There they are. They're going to go to this lake. They're going to fill it with water. They're going to go put these trees out and stop DJ spreading fire all over the area. Uh, now we have to rebuild this thing, but I can't because it is a disaster. Damn it, I need a disaster recovery unit now. Ah! Uh, fine, we'll deal with that later. Once the next two buildings burn down. Where were we? Traffic. We were on traffic. All right. Uh, if we're going to, if that's helping now, we can probably turn these traffic lights off, maybe. Because most of the trouble was caused by these cars here, which are actually coming down here now. And what we can do here is take advantage of that slip road here and turn off their ability to turn there. There we go. Because they have this road here to come down. They can come down this ramp here instead of using that junction at all. And that will actually have a massive effect there. Now the question is, do we allow this turn? That's the question. Uh, I think it's okay, personally. Can't see a big problem with it. Um, traffic here is okay. I'm going to put it back to the traffic light too so I know where my traffic lights are. Traffic lights are here. I'm going to turn them off for a moment and see what happens. Uh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. That's not fine, but you're just being idiots at the moment. Uh, but all the junctions seem to be behaving themselves at the moment. But we will have to keep an eye on this one. And, of course, uh, ones where we've got these... A lot of traffic coming through with them now. Um... Okay. Problem here is two lanes going to one. So, a viable, better option here would be actually to flip this road around. There we go. And also to lane change that left lane to not have a straight forward on it. There we go. What that would do is it would allow these, these two lanes to go into two separate lanes. One lane to go down here and one lane to continue on up. It also at the same point have this these two coming into one lane going into two, so we would still have the benefit at that point. Okay, I think that helps a lot with traffic flow. Da, da. And it also helps with my personal belief that if you put traffic lights on the road, you fail as a planner. Um, I mean, I will put them on occasionally, but I think that if you put traffic lights on a road, then you're doing it because you couldn't find a, an actual good way to solve the traffic problem. Doesn't mean I, it doesn't mean your roads are bad. Just means that they're too busy for what you've got them designed for, and that means sometimes redesigning the roads, which I will have to do at some point because this city will expand and will cause no end of problems. Da, 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 but I think, other than this piece here causing some issues, we're doing okay. Now, the question is can we push them down this road without causing some issues, or do we do the same thing? We pull them out from here, boom, into the off the roundabout, yeah, yeah. Take down the back road, drop them in here. No left turning here because it makes no sense. This one would hopefully get cancelled out because they'll be on the back road already. You know what? It worked for the other road. Let's try it on this road. Only difference this time round. Do we want to have two lane? We should go one lane on this one. Make it a slip road. We can pull it out from there. 
can, I want it to, to swing to the left. I don't want to take a building if we can help it. Uh, boom. Okay, we have a road. Boom. And sorry, we are gonna we are going to have to remove one of your uh, very nice uh, shop buildings though. I'm gonna curve that a bit better though. There we go. Bring that over here a bit. There we go. That's fine. You need a light tweak to your positioning, and we'll all be good. All right. Uh, do we want that to be? That should be. That should be a two lane at that point. Uh, at the last section here, really, it should be a two. Because it's going to left and a right. Well, actually, no. There should be no left turn anyway. Because uh, right turn there anyway because of that, and that means you don't need that anyway because of that. Perfect. That should help out here a fair bit, and hopefully that means that there won't be as many cars turning here because they'll all be using this slip road here. That's kind of the hope anyway. All right, let's see how that deals with traffic. That will be themselves, behaving themselves. Barely congestion up here, but all these roads appear to be behaving themselves in this area anyway. So I'm gonna keep an eye on you for what we're doing here. So if we were to say no left turn there, that would force them down to this road or up to this road. And you know what? It's actually not a bad idea just to uh, say no to that little turn there. Uh, no. But yes. There we go. And hopefully that'll help out a lot of the traffic flow. A lot of the traffic flow, hopefully. That pushes them up here temporarily. We're aware of that. Uh, I should say more because of this junction, which we'll see how the knock on effect happens. This one I'm surprised by. That they haven't uh, diverted themselves down this road. I mean, I could turn off their left turn here, but I feel that'd be a bad idea. Um, really, here, what we need then, but look at this, is uh, a better planning on the junction, but I don't really know what to do here. What, what would be the better option on the junction? We could flip this around. And make it a one way the other way. Oh, we could do a 2-2. Two, two. Actually, a 2-2 two, two here might be a better option. There we go. Uh, that gives us more lanes in. So, potentially faster emptying of these lanes. Uh, hopefully, that would help out. Let's, let's see. Let's see what's happening further down the road. Though, cause when you've got to be careful, when you fix one area, you have a potential of causing chaos in another area. Ba, 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 ba. Like these guys, these guys just love causing me chaos. Look at that, look at that. Ba, ba, ba. But okay, what we could do? Turn it into a 2 2. And that would potentially give them more lanes to empty out faster as well. And also, I notice that these are broken now. There we go. Ba, ba, ba. You know, actually, these shouldn't have anything on them because they're causing vehicles to stop on the way in. All right, how are we doing? Junction's looking good here. Junction's looking good there. That's clearing. That's busy but clearing. Clear, 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 clear. Busy, clear, clear, clear. Okay, just the busy one here, little cat. Is it busy, busy, or is it busy clearing? It doesn't appear to be clearing. You're causing problems. You know, we could actually have a rule that says you're not allowed to turn up there. You have to go. If you want to turn left here, across this way, you just go all the way down, round the roundabout, and come back. That would work as a system. And uh, it would annoy a few people, but it would work as a system. No crossing lanes. Um. I'm kind of interested to see what would happen to all the traffic if we did that. If we just said that you could only turn off in one direction. Um, how did the park happen, by the way? We lost two buildings, and I need a disaster recovery building now. Okay, that should be under the fire engine, I believe. Under disasters, and it's this one. Disaster, disaster response unit. It's huge, and it's annoying. So I'm going to pop it here. It's temporary until we get like a offshoot somewhere. Uh, actually, better place up here. Still temporary, but uh, I don't like it here, but I'd rather have it built somewhere than nowhere. Uh, it's outside the power grid right now, so just a quick connection up to the power grid. And is it on water? Uh, probably not enough in the water. There we go, and that helicopter is going to go and recover our two buildings. 
Well, technically, it's going to look for survivors, and then we'll be able to go look at our two buildings. Um, okay. What's our traffic report showing us right now? It's showing us that we have traffic jams back here as well now. Damn. Okay. Well, that didn't work out well for us over here, did it? And these are already two-lane roads. Uh, okay, so what would be the best option here? You know what? We could try that little idea of no turning left. Um, but what we should do... Uh, yeah, so the roundabout's right there. The roundabout's literally right there. So, give me the... Give me that. Give me that. Uh, no. Ooh, turn it around so I can see better. Uh, turn that way. And no going that way. That should get those cars moving pretty quickly. So they have no choice. Uh, I'll do this side as well. Yes, no. Uh, yes, no. I'm going to do it all the way down here. Uh, I know it's not causing a problem anywhere else, but I want to see the results of doing this. Because uh, it should put a lot of traffic onto the roundabout, and that might cause its own problems. I'm kind of curious as to what problems they would cause. All right. Speed it up. Uh, let's bring back to that mode. I want to see these traffic jams happening. So we should start seeing these cars clearing down, which I don't... Uh, there we go. So they weren't moving, so I wasn't sure what was happening here. Right, so we should start seeing a lot of vehicles in these areas clearing down. And we should start seeing the roundabouts getting busier, because cars will do full loops and come back down these roads. Uh, I can already see... That's look, look at that. That's all that's cleared. All right. Um... We could do the same thing if these if these cause any congestions on these roads turning off of them. We could do the same thing there. But look at that. Already had a massive effect. You can only turn left onto Okay, so let's... You know what? It works so well. In, uh, I think we should definitely look at doing it all the way down this road. Let's get rid of that. All right. So you can only turn right out of all the junctions now. That's going to be the rule on these roads to see how we can... How this will help all of this lot, even on roads where there's no congestion, because if there's even one, they will all go the wrong way, and we know it because we've seen it before. All right, and then that means you're the same. Turn right there. You come to the roundabout and deal with your own problems over there. You're already set to right only. You are set to right only, and you will be set to right only. All right, that should solve a lot of the congestion problems on this road section as well. What's happening here? Uh, we have to... Okay, that's going to cause a problem here, though. Um, oh, yeah, because they're going to come down here and they're just back onto this road here, won't they? I mean... This road isn't needed anymore, really, at that point. I'm going to remove this. Um, the, re the primary reason for that removal is... So we get them to use this road a bit more. There we go. Let's see how they behave themselves here. And if they don't behave themselves as much as we'd like them to, why is there no left turn here? I mean, I see there's a bus lane left turn, but the bus lane left turn isn't really a, isn't really a left turn. No one can use it. Oh, right turn, sorry. All right, let's see how that affects the traffic uh, on these main roads. I am expecting these to cause some problems, but I can solve that with other mechanisms. Um... You're not so big a problem. I'll leave you alone. This one was causing some issues. Back here, we have vehicles causing congestion on the back road. Um, not It's not too bad. What are you doing? Okay, I'll let that slide. I'll let that slide. You're just being an idiot. All right. Uh, vehicles causing congestion here, but they shouldn't cost too much. We could actually solve this piece here. With a little bit of lane management saying you can only go forward and into that lane and you can only go forward and into that lane that lane and that stops them causing overlay problems once they get here they can sort themselves out and down the road all right, that one. That I mean, only we only do that if we're starting to see big problems on the roads. Like this is going to cause me some hassle. This I can solve by putting the same protocol in place, and this only really needs to be done here. 
because it is such a busy road. Right? Um, so here, you're allowed to turn to there. Uh, here, you're fine. Oh, there, that one's not allowed. Boop. No turning off of this road. No crossing lanes, because that's what causes a lot of our problems. So I'm going to say no to those. So straight ahead, that side only. That side's fine. This one should have an additional turn lane to get down these side roads. But you don't have any turn lanes. Uh, this one has no turning lane. Uh, this one should have an additional turning lane. They don't seem to have to do it anyway, but I'm going to give them an additional turning lane anyway. Uh, you have an additional turning lane. You lose your turning lane. Uh, up here, you lose that turning lane. But you gain an extra one. Uh, here's fine, apart from you. No, you're already done. Uh, and then so the roundabout thing is up next. Alright, let's see how that works out. Because that pushes a lot of the traffic into different uh, ends of the roundabouts. And we might see a lot of it hit the roundabout and cause problems, but that's something we'll spot in a moment. Once once it's flushed through, basically, right now. Uh, traffic lights are not on anywhere, hopefully. They're not. Okay, good. Right, let's check out the housing area. Housing area has turned into a really, really efficient area now because of that. We're not seeing any problems with vehicles coming off of these, but they're not as dense and not as busy as the commercial area, which is why we've done that on the commercial area. Look at that. That was red on both sides of this early section and the middle section, but now look at it. We're getting some build up here, but they moved so quickly that it's not causing any issues. I think that's working out really well. The bus is now backing up onto this road now, which is causing its own problem. Uh, but that's probably due to the fact that they're able to move so fast now. Uh, well, we wait for that to clear down. Let's take the buses out and see what's happened with their uh, backlogs. Has anyone got a backlog now? Uh, you don't, and you're at seven. Okay, I'm going to bother with ultimate. Why did it get rid of the tile? I hate the fact I have to go back into here. Uh, you have none. Uh, you have. Do you have like two buses? You have two buses. Fair. Uh, you. You have some backlog here, which we, I'm not happy with. Take me to that stop, please. That's on the red line. And that's going that way around. Okay. We may need to put trams in this road, because this one's very, very busy. Um, how easy would it be to put tram lines in here? Tram, 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 tram. Because my laws uh, recommended trams, so let's look at trams. Trams. The trams would be that one there. Uh, we'll be upgrading a two like that all the way around. I think it's just worth doing it anyway at this point. Uh, I'm gonna follow this road around, and I'm gonna have to double check everywhere that has a. Uh, Potential tram stop requirement. Uh, there. Ah! What do you want to do? No. Uh, need normal road with trees, please. Normal road with trees. Normal road with trees. Trees, 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 trees. Normal road with trees. Alright. Uh, tram line goes up here. It goes here. People don't like the trams because they get rid of the trees. And to be fair, I would love a tram road that had trees. It comes down here, comes down to there, comes down to there. Try to make sure the buses are going where I expect them to go as well. All right, now we get to here is the question. Yes, they have to go down here to that one, but they do go that way as well. All right. That gives me a tram route, hopefully, that goes everywhere we need to go. Um, there we go. Now, there is a potential problem here of going northbound. I have noticed that, but we'll have to figure that out in a moment. But this was a one-way road, so we'll have to see if that's going to cause any issues. But we also need a tram station. Um, unfortunately, these are fairly noisy, and they do cause me some problems. I'm going to have to build it out here and bust them in. Bust them in? Yes, we're going to bust them in. So that's going to be a tram only uh, line. 
and it's going to be pretty much a straight road on this one here, going straight out to here. Boom. There we go. Build me a tram depot out here, which I can't do because annoyingly it has to be a road because the game. There we go. And then tram depot on the end of that. Tram depot on the end of that. Uh, build you further out. And then test it, because I've always been sure it was a, it had to be a road. But I would really, really appreciate it if it let me put an actual tram only line there. Now you see it has to be a road, it won't snap to it. Bear, 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 bear. Then put that here. And it can be as close as we want it to be, but I want it to be further away if possible. Because what I want it to do is to not have the uh, the little noise pollution bar get in the way here. Uh, run a power cable across there. It's an elevated road, so we have to leave it an elevated power cable. There we go. And it's going to need a water line running out here, dedicated, because it doesn't have one currently. Boop. Then one to the bottom, just in case it's going to complain. In case it's going to complain about the overlap. There we go. Alright, we have a tram line. Now we've got to replace these bus lines with tram lines. So, uh, buses, trams, tram routes. We need to remove the red and put a new tram line in, which is actually not that hard because we have a tram line button here and we just click, right? We can just, that road's not a tram line, is it? Is that there? Is that not a tram line? Or is it being awkward because it's got a road, a bus on it? It's been awkward because it has a bus on it. All right, well, the red route, we're going to pause. It's the red route and the blue route. I need to delete them. And they just go around the outside there, so that's fine. Okay. Red route and blue, and we'll try to avoid that road there on the way back. So, red route first, bus routes. And this is the Milo's Inner. West, east, what? Where's that one? No, that one's up there, we don't care about that one. Alright, so the two Milo's ones, which are Milo's West and Milo's West. Okay, that one needs deleting, yep. And that one needs deleting, yep. So there's no bus routes in the Milo's West section. And then what we can do is we can set up tram routes in the same area. So tram route there, and that's going that way. Okay, so tram there, tram there. And it doesn't hurt to have more trams either uh, in reality than we had before, because we did see it was very busy, so it was a very popular route. Put that stop there, because it'll give access to this uh, path. Tram, 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 tram. Right, that's the one route, and we'll do the other way as well. We'll try and have them roughly stop at the same places, because why wouldn't we? Boop. And then we'll give them a quick... We'll unpause as soon as these are in place. We know that they're working then. Now, I heard you coming down this road, but I'm not going to be able to do that this time around, due to uh, not having a tram road there, but we'll uh, we'll be fine. Uh, that goes there. That one would go there. That one would go there. That one would go there. And set that last one there. Tram route up and running. We can now unpause while the trams flood out of this little area here. And there we go, that's the first tram, and we can go give them names. So where's my where's my public transport button? Public transport, there it is. Uh, trams, so that one. Oh, there we go. This is Milo's Int West. Ah, I didn't press enter. There we go. And they are now set. Off you go. Be awkward and annoying and everything you have to do just to get in the way of people. This is the one part I don't like about the game though. Where it decides it's going to uh, <coughs> block the entire road because it wants in all of the trams out of one go. Da, da, da. But the trams can hold three times the passengers, so that's good. There we go. All right, we have trams. Tram, tram, trams. Now we're going to start seeing people using them. Look at that. Oh, we should start seeing the other trams coming down this road shortly. Leaving where they are. Where's the first tram? Go in the other direction. There it is. And you can see there are already people waiting for them. Perfect. Now we might need to put more trams on the line. 
but we won't really know that until we uh, see the usage requirements of them. Where is the next tram? There. And it's got nine people on it, and it's going to hit this busy one here. Pulls up, everyone gets on, right? Yep, everyone gets on, it goes to 52, and that's... I mean, the bus could hold like 30, so... Oh, yeah, these are getting busy. All right, well... Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. Okay, so they are, they are, they are busy. They are, they are definitely going to be busy. All right. How many trams is it put on the line? Because it's going to need a lot more trams on that line. <laughs> Where's me building? There it is. Why do I go to the building? It's up here. Damn it. Uh, bus routes. Tram routes. Uh, you put on... Unknown. Oh, I don't tell you. Four. I'm going to say... The four's probably not enough. Actually, you do seem to be holding it, but I'm going to give you five vehicles, though. Uh, and then the other direction, which is the one I really care about, because that's the one that's got a lot of people on it right now. 370 people on site. Four bus trams are not going to be enough. You're going to need, like, ten. Uh, how many routes are there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, there's, like, twelve stops. You're going to... You, you, need, you need a lot of these... So, I mean, I'm going to flooding the area with trams, but you need a lot of trams on this route. This route's very, very popular. Alright, so we've done that. We've got the trams up and running here. Uh, um, next place we can put more trams in. Um, one of the big questions then is, this road here, can we, get, can we put trams on here? What kind of tram-based road do we have available anyway? Well, we do have this uh, four-lane road with trams. So we could upgrade this road to have tram line running all the way down it. Um, if we start seeing a lot of people using it. And are we seeing a lot of people using it? Uh, not really. Uh, not really seeing a lot of people on this main road. Okay, how about the shopping district though? Yes, but that's a red line. We need to make sure we know what's happening here. Wow, look at the traffic here now though. Let's go look at the tra traffic report. Uh, that's busy, but we figured it would be. We've got trash problems over here. But the main roads are pretty good. Ooh. Okay, where are we having problems? Oh, right, this. Somebody dumped a load of trams on the line. Ignore that, that's fine. Uh, down here. Actually, this bait does a lot better than I would ever have thought it would have done. Apart from the abandoned buildings, but ignore those, they're fine. Da, 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 da. Oh wait, you're ready to be a rebuilt. Rebuild. Rebuild. There we go. That's two packs rebuilt. But yeah, overall, other than the trams, which we all thought themselves out very shortly. So the trams are one of the really annoying ones. That they'll sort themselves out over time. But I think I put too many on. I think I rushed them. I don't think it should have been like 10. Probably should have been more like 7? Seven? 7. That's what I'm going with here. Because then they can clear themselves down. It's a longest route though. And right now, none of the trams are on this side apart from that one. The thing is, this one here is so busy. Look at that. So busy. We need to get more and more people out of this circuit. Do -do. It's because of the damn crematorium, isn't it? Everyone's visiting dead people. Beep, beep. Everybody on. But I think that's really helping out already. Let's check really quickly. Um, how many people are now waiting at that stop? It was 300. And it's now 120. So we have brought it down to Fair bit, and there's, another and there's a load of trains coming to take the passengers away, which is great. That is actually perfect. Look at that. It takes away they take away so many passengers each run. I think it needs to keep it at maybe six or seven rather than the five originally. We'll put it down to six. But I think the trams are actually capable of uh, handling it now. Hi, you uh, you be to have an interesting time up here. Uh, 150 people on that bus line. Might need to might need to tram line this one as well then. Although no, that is the blue line. The blue line travels all the way down here, and this is one of those lines that's getting replaced with the rail line, which I unfortunately don't have time to do today. But uh, I think we solved the big traffic problems though. 
let's bring it back up my traffic manager here. We're, down, we're back up to 87% traffic flow. I think a lot of that is the, uh, the, 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 the trams here, when I flooded the network with them, because a lot of the spots are busy where the trams would be kind of congregating. Um, not quite sure we have this road here, if we need, don't need it anymore. But I'm not going not gonna, not gonna to leave it there. But, yeah, 80, 88%. So it is increasing. It's just a matter of uh, keeping an eye on it, so really. Do, 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 do. Which was a way to say, take me to the worst road. And it probably didn't mean to here anyway. But take me to the worst road, and we can look at, look at that. I'm very happy with how that's turned out. Uh, but I don't see any other major issue roads uh, on the city. They all appear to be behaving themselves, which is excellent to see. Alrighty, well in that case, we are done with our traffic day. Because our traffic day was 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 really, really bad at one point. And we've uh, we've kind of solved it. Look at that. Look at all that niceness. Ignore the red buildings, they're fine. Look at all that niceness. Um, I keep thinking of the traffic jams down here, but it's actually parked cars. Parked cars are annoying. They, they make it look like the roads are busy when they're not. Anywho, let me know what you think of the new design of the of the layouts and, and stuff. We're going to need to look at some uh, death care. Not death care. I saw trash build up problems. But overall, looking good. Uh, next stage, I think, is going to be to build a railway infrastructure that can take people from the housing area over here and dump them into the industry area over here so we don't have so many abandoned buildings and so many bus routes coming this way. In fact, I want no bus routes coming this way. I want bus routes going to meet up with a train depot, then the train depot take everyone to the industry. That's kind of my plan. So I might try to weave a train line down here and leave them. We have to destroy a couple of buildings on the way and put a couple of passenger stations in here. Then the houses won't like it, but tough. Uh, they're going to have to just deal with it, unfortunately. It's just the way it's going to have to be. Anyway, let me know what you think about that idea. And I can definitely get like, a train station in here somewhere. So we have all the capabilities. So let me know what you think about that as an idea. But until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching. And I will see you then. Bye. Bye.